already the business community is willing on a heavy and cumbersome tax burden that they have been forced to carry by this government. Only last week, ladies and gentlemen, you recall that Shanti Business Association cried out to government to scrap the Cramsey 3% VAT flat rate that was introduced and, and to reintroduce the 17.5% VAT system that existed some time ago. They rightly pointed out that the introduction of the 3% VAT flat rate has only resulted in double taxation, or in some cases we call it cascading, making them pay up to 20% in actual fact, and it's leading to the collapse of their businesses. This vindicates the position we took as a minority when the 3% rate was introduced, but which was unfortunately again ignored by the managers of the Ghanaian economy. Ladies and gentlemen, similarly, complaints have emanated from importers who indicate that they have noticed astronomical increase in duty payment since the government took over. It is important for government to use the opportunity in the 2018 budget statement to address these concerns, as failure to do so will worsen the business climate, especially at a time that Ghana has slipped 12 places on the World Bank Ease of Doing Business report. The deterioration is most unfortunate because around the same time last year, under the NDC government, Ghana moved up 13 places on the same index and was adjoined the best place to do business, the best place to do business in West Africa, ahead of Nigeria and Cote d'Ivoire.